In this little demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use iAnnotate, which is an application for the iPad, to mark student papers. So this is just a, a little hint of how to do this. And so what I've done is I've already opened up the um, student paper within iAnnotate. And so as a, as a trick there, I use Dropbox to get the paper to my iAnnotate. And I've opened it up in iAnnotate. So what I can do is start by reading the document. Um, if I see something that I want, say, to highlight for the student, I can highlight it just using the highlighter tool. Um, if I want to leave a comment, I can just make it bigger, go on the side here and say, hmm, I want you to look at this. And so what I'm going to do here is say, I want you to look at this. Like this, right? And I just type it in with my stylus quite nicely here. Click done and go down. Now, if it's not the color I want or the size I want, I can hit it. And if I hit the color button, I can actually change the, the color tone if I want it to be a bit darker. Or if I want the pen to be thicker or thinner, I can actually edit that directly. Just like that. Okay. Now, another feature I'm going to show you um, is available on the iPad 3. So, first of all, if I wanted to tell the students, they have to put the name on the top corner. So, I'm going to use the typewriter tool for that. And I'll type up here. And so what this will do is it'll bring up my keyboard. Now on the iPad 3, if you turn on Dictate, which is a keyboard option, you turn it on, you get the microphone here. And here I can just speak into the iPad. So I'm going to tell the iPad. Once I hit the button, it's going to go bang and I'm going to start talking. Don't forget to include your name on all your assignments, period. I hit the button again. and. Don't forget to include your name on your assignment. See how quickly that, that showed up? That was just great. I can use this arrow to make it change the size. I'm going to change the color um, and the font size because I think that's just a little too big, right? Okay, and so if I want this little note here. Now here's the thing about this, this feature I'm going to click down here is that I expect that lots of students in my class are going to forget to put their name on their assignment. So what I'm going to do instead of having to type that in every time or speak it in every time is I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to use the stamp feature. And I'm going to create a little stamp. And just as a hint, when you create a stamp, if you start with a couple zeros, um, it'll appear at the beginning of the stamp list because it lists the stamps alphabetically. And so um, if you start with numbers, it um, st starts at the beginning of your stamp list. And I hit return. And I hit done. Okay. And so what that did is imagine, and this is, a, I'll scroll to the bottom here, this is a different student's paper. What I can do here is, um, because it's in my stamp tool, if they haven't done their paper, I just hit the stamp tool. I go to where I want it to show up, and lo and behold, you'll notice my 000 names is here. I just hit it, and poof, my same message appears there. You can use that stamp feature with text on the side, so I want you to look at this. I can turn that into a stamp as well. I can turn anything that I create on the iAnnotate into a stamp, which is really handy. Once I've finished putting all my comments in, all I need to do now is hit the synchronize button. Because I've been using uh, Dropbox with the assignment, I hit the synchronize button, the version on the Dropbox up on the system now has all of my notes. I can then either upload that into the LMS or email it back to my students. So that is the quick, tr quick, quick and easy way to use iAnnotate to mark student papers.